Please adjust the slider till the computer is barely visible. It's almost like all the way down for me. Yeah, I'll put it like right there. Confirm. Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. <gasps> friends. Friends. That's technically nine, but is there a different nine? Yeah, that's technically nine. There's actually a lot of nine. Comes the number nine. Confirm. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Right there. Boom. Uh, which one of these two were... Which one of the two made-up words below is appealing to you? Occuboinkle? Or scrumtush? Occuboinkle. Occuboinkle. What a great word. Please do not adjust the... Okay. Do you know what time it is right now? Yes. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Y y yes. What time is it anyway? Y yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Plenty of stuff. Help. Yes. Will you come back to visit me? Yes, of course. Obviously. Alright, welcome back to the Stanley Parable 2. I guess is it's, we're calling it the second one. So, I'm going to do, um, <clears throat> like a few more things. This is just to see what is up. So, I will not pick up All of his the, co-workers were gone. What could it um, mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I will skip the... Wait... Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay. As much as I... Should I take the bucket? You know, I'm not gonna take the bucket. I'm not gonna take the bucket, and... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, no, and it was Stanley not. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. So, I do think that I'm not exactly... Ah, yes, truly a room worth it. Oh, yeah, perfect. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I know. Crazy. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Uh, drop! What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? No. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to be playing this game to the extent dent of like every every single ending i just kind of want to get a nice idea of what's been added since this is an updated version of the original game so i i'm not going to be playing this in full i'm just going to be playing just enough to get an idea of what's been added truthfully i can't remember some of the endings so now listen carefully this is important Stanley walked through the red door. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. I like collecting those. That is great. It is fantastic. 
Oh crap, I don't remember I don't remember the instructions. I wasn't listening. Blue. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Oh. Stanley walked through the red door. No. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. No. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Yes. Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yes. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Yes. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. That door? I don't want to go through that door, but it looks all fancy. No, fine, I'll listen. Okay, I'm Ooh. going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Yes. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? Ah, How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Okay. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. World leader, worldwide leaderboard? Are these all? No. Okay, no, those can't be. Mussolini? <laughs> wow. Okay. Great. I'm gonna go through the door on the right. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard Excuse me. helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. <laughs> so why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You know what? Just burn. Just... You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate <laughs> babies or purely to spite me? Maybe both. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. I'm sure. So, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. 
Oh, I think I remember this. Maybe. I think so. It's going to load an actual game from Steam. Yes! Ah, fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? Oh my What's gosh! Backstory? Firewatch! What is the hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you That's... from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. It's a, I swear there's... Oh my gosh. I Yeah, I remember seeing this game. I never played it. Um, I like briefly watched it, but... Yeah, but isn't it Firewatch? Pretty sure this is Firewatch. Whoop. Pay attention, Calvin. One of the doors. Nice. I can't remember if this is... Oh, no. No, 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 it can't be. What? What it can't be? What? It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Okay. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing. That big, open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Okay, I think this will be just the thing. Oh my gosh! Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, wow. The... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I don't remember this being in the original one. I really can't remember this being in the original one. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little... Hold on. Oh! I... Whoops. I didn't actually mean to do that. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Interesting. Do I just fall? Yep. I just fall. I can't remember this. I really cannot remember this. Unless, it, was this a thing in the original? Or... I don't think this... Okay. Four. Where's four twenty-seven? That's my room. Let's go. Wait a minute. Why does it oddly kind of look like Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> it's kind of. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. 
and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Is that a threat? Is that a promise? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. And they were what gone. What did it mean? What did it Stanley mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of Wonderful. comfort rushed over him. Beautiful. Stanley um, clutched the bucket tightly to his chest go left. and entered the door on his left. Cool. Okay. I know. I know which way I'm gonna go. I know which way I'm gonna go. There will be a reward for finding them all. Mission. What? Large room, lots of boxes. Stairs. Something to do with stairs. Trust the completionist instinct. I... Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy, it's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. <laughs> Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. This is Go mine. Hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting I into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply Whoops. that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? <gasps> That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? Excuse me? That your life is so banal and meaningless that Excuse you me. feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happens to be in your path in an even partially enticing manner? How dare well, I never. Never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you, you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional yep. landscape of your I, feelings for the bucket. I'd like as to. They have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Do you know how much I've been through, th through with this bucket? This bucket means everything to me. You're just a. Okay. You're just a. I've got you I, something. I, I'm which not I done. Think will help settle this debate once and for all. I'm not Here done. Go. There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your yeah. meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, oh, it's a bucket. There yep. really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Of course. Yeah, obviously. Now I know. This is, this is Bucky the Bucket. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us the silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket.
anything? Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the I'm gonna go downstairs. Go downstairs. <gasps> You're getting close now, Stanley. I am. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Ooh. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. Be it. We'll be different people by then. Oh, yeah. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Of course. Absolutely. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. I don't want to go on there. Well, okay. Maybe. But Maybe Stanley it changes. just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. Oh. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. Well, that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sort Where's of bizarre my bucket? hallucination Stanley might experience without Where's the psychologically bucket? grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley! Bucky. Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None oh. of them were his. None oh. of them were his special oh. bucket. Oh! Come to me, Stanley. Oh. Find me. Oh! He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Am I Bucky the this Bucket? This is a story of a woman named Mariella. What? Oh! That's right. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, <sighs> and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. He didn't have a this bucket. This man had no bucket. Of course. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his Why actions. Why wouldn't he? And how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. I did. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. Excuse me. How cruel the world can be, Mary and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. Oh, my bad. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. What? Okay. <laughs> That's a lot different than I remember it being. All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could, could it mean? mean? There is one thing I need to do. Mo Joe had commented saying that I need to go to the telephone, but cut the wire in the back. It almost seems like you have a... This is essentially the same game, but if you bring the bucket with you, it'll change 
the narrative a little bit. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Yes. Well, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually <laughs> chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Oh. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And yes. to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Oh. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Hi. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah. Welcome back. Oh. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. No. I'll, t I'll pick up the phone. Well, I can't. Okay. I am literally going backwards. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine Ma the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Imagine. That story would make no sense at all. all right, good we quote. just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. <sighs> Yeah, I bet. Bet. Boxes. Boxes. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Boxes. There's a collectible here. I know there is. There has to be. There has to be. There has to be one. It's got to be here somewhere. Box. Oh, okay. All right. Everybody else see that? Boxes? Come on. Where's the Stanley figure? I know it's there. I know it's there. 
Where's the, I swear the Stanley, where's the Stanley figure? Where's the Stanley figure? Whoa. That's actually kind of cool. So peaceful. I love this music. But where's the Stanley figure? I need the last one. I want to find all of them. See what happens. Probably nothing. It's probably. Oh, it's so wonderful. I don't think I was actually supposed to jump down here. <laughs> um, I might have broken the game. Okay, I can go through those boxes. Why can I go through those boxes? Getting from the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do one more. One more. 